Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> and in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly, namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! <sighs> Get to the airport, talk to her. That's it. Slow it down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport worked for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am. Hey, look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my move. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over.
just a witness, okay? Hey, what are you looking so cool, calm, and collected for? Guess because I'm not the one who's about to die based on some inappropriate decision I made a long time ago. Uh, thanks for the moral support. I appreciate it. What the fuck ever happened to burying the past, huh? Any fool should be able to turn over a new leaf, right? Well, first, your new leaves aren't so very different from your previous leaves. Seems like they fell from a pretty similar tree. And second, the age of the internet, my Ludite friend. Nothing is forgotten. There are no new leaves. Everything you do and don't do is recorded forever and used to beat you. This is the age of Judgment Day every day. And in the revelation of that, I'd say that you got off pretty lightly. What with all the, uh, the murders and the, and, and the thefts and... All right. This straight talk and new, uh, tell it like it is reality guy act. Uh-huh. It ain't working so well for me. In that case, um, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. So what y'all talking about? The internet age. <laughs> the internet age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a highly defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm gonna miss this place. If we're gonna do this thing and maybe take that score... Well, I... I guess this has all got to be gone. All right, with the sad goodbyes. All right, with the sad goodbyes. Agent Steve set up a base of operations at the noose building off the Palomino Freeway. All right, now let's roll on this thing. Why are you so chipper? Shit, why are you so miserable? Must be an H thing. Great. Now there's something to look forward to. What's the plan again, man? And please, let it involve someone shooting you for being so goddamn miserable. Oh, what is this? Pick on me day? Look, I know I'm a miserable old prick, but give me a break. You and Lester. Shit! So the plan was feeling sorry for your ass, right? I miss Lester saying that shit, for sure. Let's feel sorry for Michael. Rich. White Michael. Poor Michael, who robbed banks for ten years, then got his slate wiped clean. Yeah, yeah. Poor Michaels, whose homies get into shit with the FIB out of the kindness of their own heart. Put their necks on the line. Man, where's my get out of jail free car, motherfucker? I'm sorry, okay? You know what, Mike? You a real easy dude to identify with, man. Poor me. Pour me. Man, pour me a drink, nigga. Okay. Okay. I can see. Maybe I've been a little caught up in myself lately. A little? Man, just give me the plan, okay? All right. Here's the shot. We're taking a chopper up to altitude, jumping out, and climbing in through the Bureau skylight. We hit the computer system. That might take a while, so we gotta hold off any resistance. All right, we're coming up. 
Chopper pilot, gunman, driver, and hacker should be ready. I'll radio in. Guys, you there? Waiting on you. This place is with the creeps, Holmes. Same with this fat pilot. All right, I need IT outside the FIB building. Ready for the cyber part of this op. I'll be on standby, boss. All right, here we go, man. This is on. Haynes' guy, you gonna take us to your chopper? You can take us up. I'll get on the stick when you jump. Okay. Come on, Frank. Let's go, buddy. You got it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Better than an elevator. Ah, fuck. I'm in the building. It's locked. I'm set setting a charge. Hey, here you go, dog. That's a nice weapon. Good people bring the right tools for an occasion. Let's get ready for the security. The alarm's been tripped. Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. The programs are on your cell phone. Connected to the machine. They better be. You need to access my computer. Your cell will show as an external device. First, run Hack Connect. It'll establish a connection with the servers. Concentrate. You gotta find this terminal's IP in the network's view. Okay, connection established. Now, to take down the firewall, run BruteForce.exe. The program will explode. 
expose each character of the password as it tries different encryptions. Select them quickly, because they won't be active for long. Okay, looks like we're in. Good work. Start down and out.exe, and I'll do the rest from here. Okay, people, we're rewriting history. Security team's been deployed. Hear that? We gotta hold them off while this thing completes its process. Hey, we knew this was coming. Let's do this. I'm sticking here, guarding the file transfer. Chopper ASAP! Get her over the building! Motherfuckers! Check the door! You don't need to die here! Eyes up! Hey, Chopper's here! The process ain't finished yet! Holding over the FIC Check the entry points! They're on top of us! Left side on the roof! Get out! up here. Sprinkler system. Can't see anything. Uh, Man, can I have to shut it off? I mean, this is still like oh, oh. Shutting down fire suppression. Atta girl. Whatever we're paying you, you're worth it. Way. 
Through here! Hey, let's move! The FRB! Uh -oh. On me! Come on! Damn, we going! Uh -oh. We got hands! Uh -oh. Keep going! Moving! Moving! This could be our way out. We low enough? Yeah, this will do. Set up the rigs. All right, come on. What's going on on the outside? Ground units, air units, every unit in the state is on the way. I don't know if you have the firepower to hold them off. ETA is any minute. Well, then we better get gone before they show up. Let's get the fuck out of here, D. Okay, let's blow this joint. Over to the right, dog. Man, it's about every cop in L.S. County on the way. It don't look like they're for us. Not yet, at least. An air unit seen you on the side of the building. Look out, guys. Ah, crap! They got a bird! Go! With you, dog. Let's do this shit. The driver. Meant to be around. Out front. Two stacks. Oh, oh, get this down. Get out of here. Get down. Oh, man, down. Oh, man, down. Oh, man, down. Bro. Get out of the way. Driver's meeting us out front, right? Over here, homie. for a post-mortem. Hey, Taliana, right? Great move, bringing an ambulance. It's a common trick. The crew don't get jumpy, it usually works. Common or not, it takes balls. And you got them. Boom, now we're clear, I could probably say I never expected to make it out of there. Yeah, sure, man. We had it covered. Oh, really? It was covered, was it? Uh, yeah. Lester had the plan. It was all set up. Yeah, we had a plan. Hold off the nastiest team of crooked FIB agents in the country while the last of the baby boomers pretends he's a hacker? Come on. It was hopeful. And then when the chopper crashed? Oh, man. I thought there was no fucking way. Why do you think Lester burned down the business? Hell, why do you think I'm doing it for nothing? And these clowns are getting paid? You're screwing with me, right? I've already given you a major discount on my standard rate. Shit, <laughs> yeah, of course. Don't think I'm ungrateful. If you want to renegotiate, let's go back and I'll drop you outside the FIB building. I get it. I'm sorry. Hey, man, tell him you messing with him, Mike. Hey, I was semi sort of serious, but joking once you reacted like that, all right? Chill out. Look, man, he was just messing with y'all. This is great sense of humor. The FIB people who put us up to this? Taliana, we're coming up on the place. Can you do me a favor? Get rid of the vehicle and drop him off somewhere. I got it. Prints, DNA, whole thing will be clean. Hey, come on. <laughs> 
Damn, Franklin. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Any longer than I was going to torch this place, too. <laughs> hey, hey, you did it! We did it! Yeah! yeah. Fucking it! <laughs> hey, where's my liquor at, dog? I got it. It's right here. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Here it is. Come here. Here. Shit. There you go. Man, you may be a conflicting, hypocritical, self-loafing old bastard, dog, but there's no one else I'd rather rob a federal building with. Me. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you, boys. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <sighs> so, you want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I gotta deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dog? No, no, I probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as we all are not together, there's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dog. Take care. Man, it's Trevor, and I'm out. Oh, we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck them. After I take care of this shit. All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. Frankie! Lester! Lester needs a drink! Ah, see? Davey, that's why we're such great friends, huh? So we're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- Fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career. Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Boys, the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg. Go! Fuck! Bullshit.
Opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion! But I'm about to get shot by a team of rogue agents! Hey, get out of the vantage point! Get me your head! This is the guy who iced Brad, and would I ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Looks clear! D, make... You can play for that stone bitch by the pool! I'm coming down! You, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. To... I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. Well, what hell, me? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, what Clear the fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but... If it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then, you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester, let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. 
I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty, depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There, you happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. Here. I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I on. can't stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you got to do. Fuck. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? Uh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me. Thanks, man.
Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballers, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic. Classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. He runs away from the fight, I run towards it. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way, but I won't be able to cover you. All right, thanks. Don't shoot and don't get too close. We don't want them to know we're here until we want them to know we're here. Uh, okay. You're the expert in springing attacks on the unsuspecting.
ever gonna get a proper introduction, dog? I can take care of myself. Go! Hey, T, you got to tell the people up at the strip club that your boy Long Dick drank for free. You heard? Jump on me though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money making opportunity. Or I get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Cause in reality, all them fools wanna clap your ass. Man, what a trust that dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lift, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the missing. Like a perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you show? Sure? Cause I'm sure there's been a few times where... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga, whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever, Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals of South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And as a matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, Fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead? Be oh, damn! damn. Themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You show sure stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga, stress knew. Everybody knew stress knew. Tanisha knew stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Mark's dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stretch sends you out there where they doing a the cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> man, I don't know. 
Man, shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them draws, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never yeah, going to. You, you pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on That's roaming so and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. Hey, yo, Franklin. What it do, family? So I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something, you know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the city. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga, I mean... Thank you. I guess it's a payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in a bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. What are you supposed to, my nigga? I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Oh, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture. Oh, me? Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all ass. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey! Oh, flossing ass nigga. 